Hello everyone, it's me, Squishy, and welcome to Slime Rancher. And today I am dressed in my reindeer onesie. I'm nice and cozy, as always, in Slime Rancher. I feel like I'm always in my coziest mode. And these feeders, okay. So I know they're automatic food dispensers, but they're too they're a little bit crazy, okay? They just keep spitting out so much food and then they just run out instantly. And I'm like, it's fine, but it just litters up the whole pen a little bit. So it would always be a little bit. But I've been busy, okay, as, as I always am in Slime Rancher. Um, I've made additions. As you can see, my tabby slimes are in my inventory right now because I thought I'd put down a silo just to keep the things that I kind of want to just keep nice and safe in here. So I've got like loads of carrots in here just in case we need to feed a Largo soon. Um, sorry, a Gordo. Uh, we have some of the odd onions in here as well because I want to keep them safe. We have some of these cue berries as well. I know I have like a crop of that growing, but I kind of want to turn that into my little tabby pen uh, seeing as I've like got rid of my silo. Um, but there's so many of them dropping everywhere. Um, I'm not going to worry about like putting too many crops out because... I don't know why, but all of a sudden these crops are growing like crazy. I know there's been like an update, but I don't know if there's been like um, an addition to the crops growing really quickly. I know I've added sprinklers and all those things, but even like chickens, I've had to like collect so many chickens. I've only got two chicken pens, um, but like I've had to like, I know they're just growing everywhere. They're just popping out of nowhere. I know there's like um, a few nests down here, I think, and they just pop up out of nowhere. So today I've also been like, um, Throwing some of these chickens in here and collecting some of the boom slimes um, plorts, which actually are worth quite a lot, which is really useful. Um, but today I did promise that what we're going to be doing is like reading like the star mail and learning a bit more about who we are and who our neighbors are and all that fun stuff, really. So that should be good. I want to go and pick some of these odd onions first. So let's just go and uh, spit out some of these carrots and try and pick up some of these odd onions instead. And uh, we can just go and deposit everything in the silo, I guess. And excuse me. It's my odd onion. Thank you. Um, so I've got loads of hen hens on me. I've got so many hen hens. I've got hen hens for days, you know? Okay, let's just go throw these in here for now, along with these cue berries. And so, basically, there's like an exchange place we can go to, um, which is right over here. And we could deposit whatever we want. Actually, we, can, we have enough. Wait, do we have enough roosters, though? I have one, two, three. I think I've fed some of my roosters to other things. So, let's just go and uh, put these in here for now. Because we haven't done this yet. And I'm sorry if you can hear, like weird banging noises there's actually like a big storm at the moment where i live which is a little bit crazy wait i need to keep one rooster don't i i think i need to keep at least one i know i don't know if i'm gonna run out of time um shall i try to do this mission or shall we go read our star mail i mean when we go to bed anyway we're gonna read the star mail and do you see that explosion over there so many explosions happening in that pen so let's just go oh no i only have one rooster in here let's just not worry about that for now I haven't seen many roosters just like lurking around in the wild. I don't know if you can only like get them in your pens when they hatch. So let's just go leave that for now. And oh dear, stop escaping. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add that like calming music to here because these are the, the, the music box. Because they go a little bit crazy and they need to calm down. They keep escaping. So hopefully this actually relaxes them. Doesn't seem to be working that well. And oh look, there's like a little elder one in here. I don't think that counts as like a rooster though, so I might just go and uh, throw him in here just to live the rest of his life just in peace, I guess. So let's go back into here then. We're going to go back home. We're going to sleep until morning and the star mail is right here. So let's go and see uh, what we get because I've read through a little bit of this. And so the 70Z, 7Z, is it 7Z Corporation? I think that's what it's called. It says Miss Labu. Labu? I'm going to say it's Labu or something. Uh, Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. We look forward to you supplying us with steady flow of plorts uh, for which we will pay handsomely. Uh, we would also like to request that you, ex you exercise caution in your first few days in the ranch. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, you should require if you should require any additional tools for your backpack, the 7Z Corporation 7Z, is that what it is? Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the located just outside your ranch house. Okay, thank you. So this is Thora West. Hi there, Beatrix. My name is Thora West. I'll keep 
My introduction is short on the count that we all got work to do. I'm a long time rancher here on the far far range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range ex uh, ranch ex range exchange. I love that range exchange. The range exchange network uh, is a network of ranchers just like you who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange uh, machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed by noon. Uh, as more ranchers get added to your network, you you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well, enough jawing, we've both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix, Thora. I like Thora. Okay, so... Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Um, the item is upgraded, okay. Salutations, Miss Lebu. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist, and amateur musician. My understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range exchange works, so I'll spare you any further ed education. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own requests. As a slime, as a slime scientist rancher, I have tremendous interest in the liquid form legion, liquid form legion that we share this vast range with. The slimes. My stu studies often keep me from venturing out. Keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and where I find myself short of particular species, I use the range exchange to fill the gap. Don't worry though, I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck on your new ventures, Miss Libu. I look forward to seeing your life breathe once into the reds. Okay. I once lost my favourite fiddle while fleeing a feral boom slime. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find it, I'll pay... Oh! Oh, he's lost his fiddle. Okay, we'll find that. See, I'm not very good at reading, by the way. As you may tell already, I'm, I'm really bad at reading and I'm very slow. So give me give me a chance. So, hey, Beatrix. The name's Ogden Ortis. Ortis. Ogden? Ogden? I'm, very, I'm a slime rancher, much like yourself, but I fancy myself as a farmer. I come from, I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies. Okay. Getting your hands dirty, blah, 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 blah. Did you know carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. I don't see why all rangers don't just gobble them down every chance they get. Being lost out in the range at night can be dangerous. Okay, maybe it is good that I keep going to sleep at night. Okay, um, well, don't let me ramble on here. I tend to raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kind requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with you. Okay, oh, oh. Oh, it looks like the face. That's really cool. Um, ever hear of the Glyglided Ginger? It's a mythical veggie that is said to be favourite food of the equal, equally mythical gold slime. But some say they never actually exist. Interesting. Okay, so Mucky Miles. Well, well, it seems to be another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence in the faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mucky Miles. That Miles in Tazu, sorry, pronunciation, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plot market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so I look forward to requesting. So, look, blah, 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 blah. Okay, they're into profits then. Uh, so, best of luck, Beatrix. Good. Bob, hello, hello, chickens, hello, chickens, chickens, hello, Bob, P.S. Chicken. I like that guy, best male ever, chicken, chicken, chickens, lovely. Okay, so looks like we are ready to start. We know everyone. We've had a nice introdu introduction, especially to Bob, good old Bob. Um, is this Bob that wants these chickens right now? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's him. That's Bob. He loves his chickens. Do you think we have time to go and get some roosters? I kind of need some more. Um, shall I just give him these ones? I need loads of the roosters, don't I? I don't know where to get them from, though. Should we just go and look around? We, we just need to get, what is it, th uh, four more roosters, I think. And hopefully we grab. Look at these guys chowing down. And look at them all popping out the ground. 
Okay, so let's just go and try and get uh, at least one of the exchange things done. Because we've never done it before. We've tried, but we failed. Um, and I'm excited. I want to see if we can get a... I don't know if um, Rooster is. I really should read that wiki thing that comes up. Um, I don't know if they come out in the world or you need to, like, grow them. <laughs> I grew uh, an animal. That's what, that's what you need to do. Oh, wait. Was that one there? Nope. See, every time I come over here, they just get eaten straight away. So is there really any point... I'm going to collect some chickadoos, because maybe they might grow. They might not, but it's, it's nice to just try anyway. Okay, so let's just go back home. And on the way home, just look for some more of these roostros. And I think you just need to breed them. I think that's what you need to do, because I haven't seen one in the wild. I don't think I have anyway. Not that I can remember. And I only need a few more. I've got loads of the hens, but Bob needs his chickens. Bob is the chicken keeper. I don't know if he keeps them just as pets or if he sells them on. I don't know Bob's situation, but I'm willing to find out, you know? I want to know more about Bob. Oh, there's, no, there's some here. Okay, good. I've got another one. Let's go and deposit this one off then. We've got time. We've got a little bit of time. Oh, no, I need three more. Come on, chickens. Well, I need two more technically because I've got that one there just in case. I don't think the elder one will count, so we'll see. Sorry, I have to keep pulling my red nose a little bit forward because, um, yeah, like it keeps keeps slipping down. So let's just go down here. Do you think there's any more in here? Oh no, are you eating them all? Okay, it's a bit, there's a the older one in here. He's grown up, which is not good, I guess. And come on, guys, I need you to, I need you to get me a, a rooster, oh please. Let's just go and deposit these ones up in here. Shall I, uh, shall I get a plot collected for this place? I feel like it's a little bit too scary to go in there. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, right, I'm going to spit out this tabby one because these are worth quite a lot. Uh, I'm being very careful because these guys are a little bit prone to explosions. So, being careful. There we go. I've got six blue boom plots. That should give me enough monies as well. Um, you're a little bit old, so I can't feed you. Oh, no, there doesn't seem to be, like, any more, doesn't there? Okay, let's go and deposit these plots. We can keep looking for our little rooster -o friends to give to Bob. Because Bob... Okay, we've got time as well. I keep looking at the time. That's why I keep, like, leading my head a little bit. We do have time. I've got one here. Shall I just go deposit that one up over there? It might be worth doing that. Because they're going to grow back anyway. I've got, I can just go get more chickadees. There's no, like... It's not like that's it. So, look at that. I just got so many money from those boom ones. Maybe I should go and collect some more of those boom slimes. That might be a good idea. Okay, Roostro, let's deposit you off in here. I hope I'd get you back if I run out of time. I need. I literally need two more. This is actually scary now. Like, I only need two more. It's 9.43. Time is ticking. Every second is like a minute in this game. So, we need to be really quick, okay? Guys... I need you to, to grow up. Grow up. Grow up, little chickadees. Come on. Right, shall I leave them alone a little bit? And then maybe they'll, uh, maybe they will hatch. I'm really nervous. Why am I nervous? Come on, Bob wants his chickens. This is our first job. And I, I want to get it right, you know? I want to just get, like, two more little roosters and then we're good. Yes? It's a good plan. Come on, guys. Two more. Bob wants his chickens. Shall I just like throw some of these hen hens down in here? Oh, look at that. They're doing like a little conga. Oh, I can put them in the nest. Sometimes if you over like crowd them, I think they don't actually lay. So maybe it's a good idea just to let them have their space. I can't remember how many it was. Is there a baby? I can hear a baby. Come on, grow. Grow. I heard a baby. There's no babies in here. Oh, wait, there is a baby. I can hear it. Is that it? Oh, it grew up. Oh, no, I didn't want you. Okay, let's go read this uh, this little wiki thingy over here. I think you can read it in this machine as well. So, activate. Uh, world resources. Is it resources? I think it is. Wow, it's noisy. Sorry about the storm. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, meat type hunter slime is favorite device. So, alpha birds of the far, far range and half the equation I can't read right to acquire restro either find one out in the range or breed them on the range okay so I can find them anywhere any type of chickadoo has a small chance of growing into a restro some ranchers believe that the odds increase if you get the greet the roosters kings 
crow the sunrise with an enthusiastic good morning. Okay. All hens in close proximity of roost rows lay eggs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, it says 12 chickens in one pen. So how many are in this pen right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's like a few chicks. So I'll let them grow. Come on, I need to get them. How long do we have? <gasps> We've only got like a couple more seconds. No! Shall I just get them all back out? Is it too late? Oh no, this is terrible. Let's go in here. Let's go back over here. I've got literally 30 seconds. I've got 30 seconds to get two roost rows and then run all the way back. Come on, I've got 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Any of them in here? No. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Uh, go. Guys, I need you to I need you to grow up, please. Let's wait here, because I think this is like my only chance. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time! Oh, this is terrible. Well, at least we can we have time to like have a go at the next challenge, which we can do. I'm just waiting for them to grow. Come on, grow! I've got like no time. I've got three seconds. So even if they did grow now. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. It failed. Doesn't matter. Let's go and check the machine and see if we got our chickens back. I hope we did. If we didn't, that's really upsetting. I don't think we actually... Oh, no, there's something here. Really? If these are the ones that were put in there... No, they weren't. Okay, never mind. So, oh, I don't have these. These are the honey slimes. The phosphor ones and these ones. Okay, so let's push to activate. Victor Humphreys, have you ever seen Django's tiger... Of course not. You can only hear it. Pardon me, that was a joke. Okay, so if I do this, I get pogo through in the red plots. Do I have I seen honey slimes yet? I think I have. Why do I feel like I've seen honey slimes? Were they like in that one area over the the one that we unlocked? I can't remember. Well, let's go and grab these ones then, because I need like quite a few of these little guys. Which won't take long to collect at all because there's so many of them. There's loads, okay? So I can literally just go past and just suck all the ones that I need up. Don't need the plots. I'm kind of wasteful with plots, aren't I? Um, okay, that, that's enough there. Now I go through here and try and get the phosphor. Oh no, I need num-nums, don't I? I need num-nums to make them happy. Let's go up here and get some of these berries. Come on, fly! Why can't I fly? Fly! Oh, it won't let me fly. Oh dear. Ooh, that's dangerous. Um, let's make these guys happy. I think they like these pogo fruits. I, I'm not too sure what they really eat. I think it's carrots, don't they? Like, because they help you see in the dark or something. I can't remember. Let's just go and grab these. Make sure everyone stays happy. And then we're good. So let's just go and suck up this pink slime. Come on, we can do this. Ready? Eat, 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 eat. Happiness. Eat, you'll be happy. Okay, each will be happy. Each will be happy. Good. Now I need you. Oh, no, they're not actual phosphor slimes, are they? I need to get, like, they, they've turned into the pink Largo ones. No, that's so annoying. Because I need them. Guys, I need you to be normal, please. How do I make them normal? Do I just, like, wet them? I don't know. I, okay, maybe there's no chance of getting them back to normal. But it's okay. It's fine. I've still got some pogo fruits left. I'm hoping that there are honey ones here. I just want to complete one shot. If we don't, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll do one in the next episode. I just need to like work on my ranch a bit more and collect all the items that I need. And there's loads of these rock slimes over here. What's this? I keep seeing what that is. It looks really pretty. Is that one down there? No. There's these ones around here. Oh, there's a chest down here. I want this. Huh? And break. Yay! Tabby appeared. Cute. Um, right, so I don't think there's any honey ones around here. I'm gonna have to research that as well. Okay, so I think, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this challenge, so I'm gonna give it up now. I know that's really bad, but oh wait. Okay, let's go collect this little guy up first, because I think he's gonna be a nice addition to my family. Um, and I just climb up here, don't I? I can't remember how to get back up here. I thought we saw honey slimes, did we not? Was that my imagination? Probably was my imagination. If not, I'm going to get a lot of comments about it saying, go over here, which I really appreciate. So if you know where they actually are, and also if you know how to turn the phosphorus slimes back to like normal ones rather than the Largo pink ones, that would be really useful too. Um, we did a little bit of the mission. I got the plots for them. I didn't get the actual phosphorus slimes, but I got the plots. 
And I got a boom slime. Maybe he wants a boom slime instead. <laughs> okay, well, we tried anyway. So, oh, my head fell off. There we go. So, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. I think it's been really insightful because now we kind of know, like, where, who we are in the game, like, who everyone else is as well. And we can use the wrench exchange as well, which is going to be really fun. So, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>